So guys, and I would say we are now at the point where we need to add C++. Let me show you why. So if you go to window, yeah, go to edit plugins and there you will see a huge list of plugins, almost 500 in Unreal Engine 5.1, which is a lot. And we can also create new plugins if you click here on add but only plugins that provide content, not code or blue. You can add blueprints here, but not code. So the thing is that does not work because we don't have C++ support yet in this project, but we need this one because we want to do some C++ coding. So that's why we close the editor, close it. And then we have here this little project on GitHub, which I shared a few months ago, which is really helpful. Let me show you why. So we click here on download, download zip and save the file into our project directly and open this one with a right click and say 7-zip öffnen, which is in German and in English it's open and we just extract this source folder, duplicate this file here, I think it's control C, control V and say underscore cpp so we minimize this one and we need to use the string so here is a very nice button click on this one so it then copy copies all the stuff to the uh, clipboard and then you can do a right click and edit this with an editor i'm using not with plus plus here of course that's a very nice editor for our, for developers and we say control v and save the one. I will provide a link in the down description below if you don't know this editor yet, but it, it's just a text editor. We just need to introduce this new module here and we minimize the stuff. And then if you have already Visual Studio installed, I will not show this to you yet <laughs> because that's something you need to cover on your own, but you can create here or you can click here and say, right click, generate Visual Studio project files. And then it will open this very nice small window and then it will try to create our yeah visual studio project so it gets closed so it's very fine and then we can open this one i'm using visual studio 2022 which works perfectly nice with unreal engine but it, you might have some issues with setting it up in unreal engine 5.0 but in unreal engine 5.1 it worked out of the box no issues so far so and what you need to do is click here on the configuration and use development in detail. Normally it's the default one, but check this one. So you can also here and say, oh no, it's not, but normally this should be the, the default one. Then you can do a right click and say build. In the next video, I will set up <laughs> this in English so that you can read it as well. But it should be the same places in the English version as well. So what happened? Of course, we need to close the project. So if you have still it open, you see that you get an error. It says, yeah, kind of build the stuff. And then just close Unreal Engine because these somehow intersect each other. We will see another technique where they don't intersect each other when we use live coding. So here, the first time it takes some time to compile all the stuff also this resource stuff which might be quite huge but yeah that's how it is come on <laughs> i really had a decent decent machine and i'm wondering why it's so so incredibly slow oh no it's compiled so um, i would say we can minimize the editor we don't need it yet so we also close the Epic Games launcher. Uh, yeah, we open now the project with the underscore CPP because that's the one where we want to have C++ project uh, support, not project <laughs> support. And if we click here on plugins again, you can see that we have now a lot of more possibilities, which we will cover in the next video. But yeah, that's how you can add C++ to your project, even if you have a Plua Dupin project. 
and you can still use the uh, project as a pure blueprint project if you build the stuff and provide the DLLs or the binary files. So let me show you how. So you open this old new project file and you will see that it's still working. It's still working, but if you click here on plugins, there's still the limited amount of possibilities which we can choose. So that's a very convenient way in my view to add C++ to your project and don't an annoy everyone with building your C++ code if you provide your plugins. I will also show this to you in this session or in this series how you can do that. So I would say we are done now with this session and we go to the next one.